Hi everybody, Chloe here. I thought it might be helpful if I shared my sander, the sander that I use if you're thinking about getting an electrical sander or you're a beginner to upcycling. Um, it's sometimes handy just to know the basics and the ins and outs. So I thought I would show you my sander, show you how I use it, some of the different features, that kind of thing. And I hope it's helpful. This is the sander I use. It's a Fistol RA90DX and it's a random orbital sander, which basically means it has the round um, disc at the front, which is really good for removing old finishes like paint or varnish. So I'd really recommend getting a sander like this if you were gonna get into upcycling. Um, for me, this was quite an investment, but you can get cheaper versions, which work really well. It just depends how much you sand basics um, here's your on off button which is pretty much the same on all sanders you sometimes have a variable speed on the side here which you can flip up and down depending on how powerful you want uh, the sander to be uh, this is your electrical cord kind of stating the obvious um, and this is the extractor. So you don't have to have an extractor hose. I do because I use the sander a lot. Um, but you can easily just as well use, which you would normally have, would come with a sander anyway, a little bag at the back that fits on like that and it collects all your dust. Um, those are fine. The dust extractors are really good though. So if you get to the point where you want to invest in a decent sander, I definitely recommend getting an extractor. Um, because that's basically like a big hoover and it hoovers away all of the dust through these little holes. Sanding pads. You basically buy the make that matches the particular sander that you've got um, and they just velcro on. So most of them will velcro on and all I would say is just match it up to the holes. Oh, she says, don't do that. You need to match it up to the holes like that so that when you're sanding, the dust actually goes through the holes. So this sander is an orbital, random orbital. So it has a circular pad and basically as it's round, it's hard to get into corners. It's really good for flat surfaces like your tabletop, for example, um, or the sides of a chest of drawers. But if you want to get in the corners, I would recommend a mouse sander. A mouse sander looks a little bit like that with a triangular disc at the end. Um, this comes with the attachment, but if your sander doesn't, take a look for mouse sanders and you'll find something with a sanding disc that is a similar shape to that. And it means you can get into all the corners, um, well, some of the corners of your furniture piece. So if you want to sand right into there, then it will do that tip for you if you want to sand into the corners and you don't want to invest in a mouse sander or you don't have the attachment um, you can actually make a little uh, sanding tool so I actually made this I cut out some sandpaper um, and I just stuck it with a really strong glue onto a paint stirrer so you can see the side um, has got sandpaper on it I just glued it on and then it means you can get into the corners of your drawers really nicely. You can turn it around like that, which is really, really handy and an inexpensive way of doing it if you need to get into those corners. So that's the basics, pretty much. And now I'm going to have a go at sanding. As you can see, they are such a handy tool to have. I would definitely recommend that you get one. If you need any information about that, any recommendations, just let me know. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.